Hi guys, so in this clip you are going to learn how to generate wind loads in RFAM. As a model we have here a steel hull with hull frames and truss upper cords. For generating wind loads we can find up here on the tools generate loads from wind loads. Apart from walls and different roof types we can also find the option vertical walls with roof according to different standards. In this clip we are going to choose the European one and what we can see now is a new dialog box and here we have to enter all necessary parameters for the generator like the velocity pressure, also the geometric information, load cases to generate or wind side. And what's very helpful is the picture here on the right side so basically we can find any information for any parameter that we need to enter in this picture. Starting up here we can find the standard what we have selected and we can choose now the national annex. As an example we are going to select the German one but as you can see you have much more options like UK, Denmark, Netherlands, Sweden and so on. Based on the German national annex we have to choose the wind zone and what's very helpful in this case is if we click here, we can open an info box and here we can find the wind zones in a map. Moving on to the geometry, first we have to define the base geometry here and we can simply select out of the model the corner nodes for the geometry. Once done, we click OK and as roof type we have a dual pitch roof and again we'll choose the corner nodes off the roof out of the model. As a next step we have to select for which load case we want to generate the load. In this case we have load case 4 for the wind in plus x direction and here on the right side we can select the wind side like if I click here again you can see in the picture which side is meant. Down here we can remove the influence from single members, in our case we don't want to have wind loads on the upper cords here and we can simply select the members out of the model. Then we click OK and second option is to exclude members which are parallel to our reference member. So for that I'm gonna choose the members here. Also this one up here and this one down here. If we click now OK the wind loads are getting generated. This one is just an info box, we can close this with OK. If you don't want to see how this load is applied to each member, like here, we can right click and then uncheck this option. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.